judgment. Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the living God. From January up to now, we have survived a lot of attacks. Some that we started life with, they are no more. Some that they are even richer than us. They are no more. So from January up to now, we need to appreciate God. Let me be on our feet and have a very short prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful unto you for this wonderful event. From the beginning of January up to today, you have been so wonderful unto us. I will make you to understand. And Jesus said, I come unto you and you become my friend. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, thanking you for the grace and for your mercy. The other day, the Bible gave me to understand that in him we live, we move, and have our food. Father, on this day, we declare the name of Jesus. We thank you for delivering us from terrible accident. We thank you for delivering us from the spiritual death. We thank you for delivering us from all kinds of trouble. Lord, from January up to now, we said we are grateful.
Hallelujah. You just want to lift up your hands.
We also like to, in that same day, let's acknowledge all the past DNS. We like to invite DNS, which is happening here. I mean, we have the undisputed. Undisputed. The next manager. DB1. DB1. That's a very big bonus. Thank you, Molly. You are welcome. We would like to acknowledge the presence of our next manager, our current next manager. We also have with us the big man of Bulua, Nana Ayakibo to the tech. And I would like to pray the Dodgers that we do an appeal for Bulua Manche, the Nana Ajima of Kukuo. We have Nana Ajima. Hello. This morning. 
mean, then the Ajiman led his own sister, who has arrived from the US, to come and do some donation to us.
Then also, the trophies there, they are for the competition. I see that the competition are yet being so. Tree about which I 
commanded you, you must not eat from. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it and all the days of your life. The last verse I read. It will produce corns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. That is the first week of the you guys give it up to Dr. Yusufi for reading the first performance. And now, our first performance for the day. Oh, are you ready for them? Last year they came second. Which group was that? Oh, do you remember them? So, ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, let's receive
the quality of the voice. They need to appreciate the song they are singing. So let's minimize the noise, please. Let's minimize the noise. Once again, let's give it up to Maternity and you and ASC. I will see you again, I will. But we will come back next year. So let's give it up to Theater Recovery as they perform now. Hello? In the spirit of Christmas, we'd like you to turn it over to your friend and say God is good. Tell your friend behind you, and beside you and behind you, say God is good. We're taking a second reading from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6 to 9. And I read. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. And the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the wing child shall put his hands on a cockatrice then. Then shall not they shall not hurt nor destroy in my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Let's give it up to our brother Oh, let's appreciate him. We'd like to invite the next group or department to perform for us. We'd like to invite. Okay, we'll give one more chance to theater recovery.
don't know if it's Jesus Christ or Lazarus. Hey, that today is Christmas without you. So what do you do? We don't go sick, we don't go down. We see Shai was in the hospital for the top. That hospital, we have a tablet in the head. That nice hospital.
our God is a director. I said our God is a director. His star shone brighter than the sun. So maybe we can call him Brighton. He, 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 he is our head. He is our head. And that is why today we are happy. Oh yes. So we will celebrate. We will jubilate. Because Christmas is here. Shalom.
not quantity by quality. Do you agree? Do you agree? It's not about the numbers. It's about the quality. Oh, let's give it up to the drama.
wise men from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard this thing, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded them where Christ should be born. Verse 5. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judah, for that is written by the prophet. This is the word of God. Oh, let's appreciate our scripture reading. Prince Ravaja is the NSP president, and Madam Jacob Tadibu is the head of hospitality. At this point, we'd like to invite to. <laughs>
in mind to give us an example that you and I in our families, in our working places, in among our friends and among ourselves, we can relate and apply it to ourselves. It seems that the birth of Jesus Christ happened like this. That Joseph was espoused to Mary and gave. In that time, engagement is not like ours today. Our engagement is real marriage. I had an opportunity to go to Israel and how to be where Mary came from and Joseph. And I was asking the question, how come Joseph had to marry Mary? And it says that not that they came into him to marry him, he was yet taking care of her. And it happened that along the line, whilst we were taking care of her, it happened that she got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, she wasn't married, he wasn't married to him. And today in Ghana, it will be a scandal. But look at the word he says that Joseph be a righteous man. A righteous man. Instead of making the whole thing publicly, that look at me, look at me, I'm not married to her. And then all of a sudden she's, she's pregnant. What do I do? Do I suck her? Do I let her go? In a period of uncertainty, in a period where, you know, things were going on in his mind, he didn't take a hasty decision. The Bible said that as he was thinking through, pondering, reflecting on it, the what the next step, I love Mary. I can't disgrace her. I love Joseph. I can't disgrace him. I love Agosia. I can't. What she was thinking through, the Bible said that he had a dream. More often than not, when we go through situations like this, instead of sitting down and pondering through and asking what to do in a season like that, then we start broadcasting. In a boardroom, your man, the man and the wife, in your bedroom, boardroom matters. Ten person knows it, four person knows it, and then you say, I love you. Where is the love? Joseph proved to us the real love. He said that I don't want to make this public. I don't want to disgrace her. Lord, what do I do? In this season, we go before God from January to this day. God, what is your purpose for my life? What is it that you want me to do? We started with many people. Some have left us. I am here today. I am confused. What is the next step? All of a sudden, he had a dream, he had a dream. The Lord was instructing him that it was the Holy Ghost. Mary was conceived by the Holy Ghost. And that is the Lord's doing. And you can disgrace her. Take her as your wife. In the morning, quickly, Joseph took her, went before the people and said, Yes, I am responsible. What would you do if you were in Joseph's shoes? Are you only going to be sympathetic or you are going to have empathy? In this season, to give us the scores and after we continue with the next program. Hello? Hello?
got 38.5. Then the fourth place, 35.8. The fifth place, 34.8. And then the sixth place, 33.8. Ladies and gentlemen.
entry in pelvic sonography. You, among some others, exhibited excellent knowledge and practical work with the ultrasound scanning and diagnostics. We salute you today for the role you continue to play in advancing maternal health care in the childhood district hospital. Madam Addis Asusra.
He's not moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. He's
The body was hidden here. Nobody in Ghana knew except us and the family. Ladies and gentlemen, David Atabi.
when the team that did the work submitted her name. When her name was given, we realized that even the Renai Foundation acknowledged her. Ladies and gentlemen, when the next time is When they came for the chief, 
Then people thought the thief was not dead. Because he had taken care of this so well that the thief had not changed. They did that happen.
dressing style, stage appearance, innovation, voice quality. Some things were disorganized on the stage. One particular team was doing so well. And a member of the team was leaving the team and going to walk around, trying to be giving money, and they would come back and would try to control it. And that alone deducted a lot of marks. Ladies and gentlemen, the third place goes to Team Summer.
traditional costume and most traditional dance. That one, I will give the credit to Nene himself to select. There were two traditional costumes. There is a team activity. Napa
so that the food can continue. We'd we'll like to invite our district director, Reverend Emmanuel Siana, to give us a closing prayer. Let's receive Reverend as he comes. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Hello. Hello. Deuteronomy 31 6. Just to encourage us as we move out to a new year. It says, Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that does go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. As we enter into the new year, I want to encourage you. That whatever you desire this year, you didn't have it. Know that there is hope for the future. Know that if you have life, you have everything. And be very, very hopeful and enjoy the holidays because you have life. For me, that is the ultimate. It's not about the material things. 